Hey guys, it's Nick from Idle Insight here. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to access direct URL links to specific parts of your virtual tour. Um, this is extremely useful if you want to send one of your customers a direct link to a specific room or area within your business. Um, so this is very useful for larger businesses, but it's also very useful for smaller ones just to send a quick link directly to your uh, business virtual tour. Um, so let's get started. I'll show you an example of when it may be useful. Um, so just going to jump to my emails. Um, and as you can see here, we have this email I've written out here, which was in response to inquiry about a certain section of uh, the business. So it says, hi, Mr. Imaginary. Uh, please enjoy the following direct link to our main function room, which we're asking about. It is a beautiful room, and I have no doubt your guests will love the ambience. Um, and then the colon here will allow me to then add in a direct link to that specific function room that they inquired about. You also might like to view our garden, which your guests are more than welcome to use here. Um, so you can then add in the direct link to the garden. Um, so let me show you how to do that. So I have here Moorpark Golf Club. It's a, a golf club, but at the same time, it's their mansions used for venue hire. It's a very large building with multiple rooms, and what I'll do is I'll show you how to access direct links to each of the individual rooms. So, the Mr. Imaginary inquired about the main function room. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go forward throughout the tour, uh, direct myself to the function room, and then choose the exact start point that I want Mr. Imaginary to view when he clicks on the link and I'm going to choose this here, so this is the wedding slash function room. Uh, the next thing you need to do is grab a, the actual URL link and the way to do that is you just go up to the top left here um, and then click on the three dots and then share or embed image. Uh, when you've clicked on that you will have the direct link here which is really really long so you can just shorten it down via this tick box uh, and then copy that link um, and the first thing you want to do really is just to make sure that link does work. So I recommend open up a new tab, paste in the link, and there you go. So it loads me straight back up into that start point. So if we go back to my email, and I can then paste it confidently into here. So I'm just going to paste this. Like so. Um, and that's that section done. So it also says you also might like to view our garden, which your guests are more than welcome to use here. Now, this part, I will obviously I can direct you to the garden, uh, grab the URL link, but having to do this every time you receive an email or every time you want to send out a link and maybe in a PDF newsletter, it can be a bit taxing to navigate your tool and grab the link every time. So what we recommend is that you keep an archive within Microsoft Word or if you use Google Drive, try and do it in a Google Doc, just so that you can quickly, or your events team, sales teams can quickly access uh, the direct links to individual parts of your business. Um, so I've got an example here, so on Google Docs, I've got more part golf club, and then I have direct links to specific areas of the uh, venue. So here we have main function room, which I haven't yet filled in. So I paste that in, we now have the main function room uh, in there. And the um, the customer, Mr. Nradery, he, um, he asked about uh, the garden, so, well, Let's send them a link to the garden. So if we get this link here, I'm just going to make sure first that it does work by pasting it into a new tab. It's always good to check. And there we go. So lovely view of the garden. So that's absolutely fine. So we go back to the email and then I will then paste this into here. And that's it. So there you go. So that is how you access a direct URL link. Um, it's really useful, like I said, for emails. You can also use them in PDF newsletters. Uh, many, many of our clients, including ourselves actually, uh, we have them uh, in our email signature um, as well. So that every email sent out throughout the company, people always have the opportunity to click on your tour. Um, so that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video um, and found it useful. Um, we have a couple more uh, videos on our YouTube page, so check them out. There's how to embed your tour into your website and how to embed your tour into your Facebook page. Um, and we're having more videos come up shortly on tips and tricks how best to use your tour. Um, subscribe, like our page, like our Facebook page, Twitter page. Uh, we definitely follow back like back and uh, yeah I'll um, we'll see you again in another video thank you bye bye